Hello everybody, I'm TechReel, and, <laughs> well, a cool thing happened. What was the cool thing? Well, let me tell you. A few days ago, an event happened in New York called the Sanders Sides Merch Event, where the YouTuber Thomas Sanders, who I'm a big fan of, released a line of merchandise for the four sides of his personality, logic, morality, creativity, and anxiety, aka Logan, Patton, Roman, and Virgil. But that was not it. It was also a meet and greet, meaning I got to meet Thomas Sanders. It all started on a line in the disturbingly hot heat of August 19th. I was dying, I was two seconds away from melting when they started letting everyone in. Inaccurate. You weren't dying, you were merely feeling a combination of heat and nervousness for the event to come. And don't even get me started on the melting thing. Don't worry, obvious replica of logic. I won't. Uh, oh, uh, but I, I did bring some charts about melting temperatures and- So I get in and I look around and there is merchandise everywhere. T-shirts on the walls and they look absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, look, it's Joan and Talon! Yeah, I was actually gonna go up to them and see if I can get some sort of a group photo, but uh, it, it didn't quite happen. Oh, why didn't you? Well, because- Why would they care about you? They're just gonna think you're some super creepy fan, they're gonna be really uncomfortable. Okay, okay, yes, we get the point. I chickened out of asking for a photo. But, who knows, maybe one day I'll get another chance. Probably not. Anyways, I give in my ticket and I get on one of three lines that are waiting in front of a little photo op area. And at this point, everyone around me is freaking out and starting to think of what they're gonna say to Thomas when he does come out. Everyone except for... me. Yes, I kind of dropped the ball there. Yeah, you think? I'm sorry, I couldn't think of anything interesting or creative to say just yet. Gee, I wonder why. So suddenly, the big moment happens, and Thomas comes out. Everyone is getting excited, everyone's freaking out. Including me, cause I'm a bit of a geek. <coughs> okay, okay, yes. A big geek. Okay, okay, okay. The biggest geek. The line starts moving and people start going up one by one to see Thomas. And while I'm waiting, the thing I start to notice is that he's not just taking a quick picture with someone and then moving along, he's actually taking a minute or two to just sort of talk to them. He took the time to do this for every single person, so everyone not only got to take a picture with him, but actually got to have like, a mini conversation with him. I personally think that that is amazing. The fact that he took the time to do that, the fact that he just had a little conversation, just a one-on-one -on -one with all of his fans, it's just really cool. Of course, it made the line take freaking forever, but it did definitely improve the experience. So finally, it's my turn. And I walk up to him, and I hug him. Awkward, as in awkward. Haha, <laughs> wordplay. As much as I hate agreeing with scarity. Pony wordplay. I too agree that that is a bit awkward. Well, I didn't hug him any more times. After the other two. Ugh, human God, emotions. <laughs> Yay. Other than that, we took a little back-to-back -back sitcom-like photo, and then uh, we just sort of talked for a minute or two. It started with the basic, like, oh, what's your name? Oh, where are you from? Uh, and then it sort of turned into some YouTube advice, because I did tell him that I'm a YouTuber, and um, asked for whatever tips he could provide. He said things like, never give up, don't be afraid to try new ideas, and make sure to always do what you enjoy. And at one point, I even asked him if he honestly believes that I could make it as a YouTuber, and... He said yes. And do you believe him? Actually, yes. He's a very honest and sincere guy, and he's gone through the whole process of becoming a YouTuber. So if he believes that I can actually make it as a YouTuber, then I trust that he meant it. Heck, hearing him say that put me with a lot more motivation for YouTube. The motivation to make this video here, in fact. Well, I must say that you did put a lot more work into this video than usual with the music and the costumes. And though you did take inspiration from Thomas for this little homage, you put your spin on it and did your best to bring his characters to life. What? Is your sash just a tie draped around your shoulder? Great, illusion ruined, princey out. Well, my curiosities are finally at bay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go watch those hugs back a bunch of times. Okay. And you should really dress like this more, it's really nice. See ya. Oh, uh, wait, anxiety? Thanks for stepping back once I started talking to Thomas. It really made the difference between an awkward and amazing experience. Yeah, well, the pre and post awkwardness is more than enough. Well, that's about it. Thomas, if you managed to somehow see this video by some magical means, then thank you so much for believing in me. 
I'll be over here doing my best, and who knows, maybe someday we'll end up collabing or something. <laughs> Until next time, take it easy guys, gals, non-binary pals, wait, that's not my outro. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.